According to the World Steel Association, 1,869.9 million tons of steel were produced in 2019. This represents a 3.4% increase in output from 2018 and is more than double than output in 1999. The world has an ever-growing need for steel. It is used in construction, industry and manufacturing. Being both strong and inexpensive, it is ideal for all types of manufacture. Iron, the major elemental component of steel, is one of the most used elements in the Earth's crust. All steel alloy are primary iron and 0.002 to 2.1% carbon by weight. In this range, carbon bonds with iron to create a strong molecular structure. The resulting microstructure helps achieve certain material properties, like tensile strength and hardness, that will rely on its steel. Now let's look how steel is made. Steel is a primary produced using one of two methods, blast furnace or electric arc furnace. The blast furnace is the first step in producing steel from iron oxidize. The first blast furnaces appeared in the 14th century and produced one ton per day. Even though equipment is improved and high production rates can be achieved, the process inside the blast furnace remains the same. The blast furnace uses coke, iron ore and limestone to producing pink iron. Traditionally, it has been a key part of the coke making process. The coal is crushed and ground into a powder and then charged into an oven where it's heated approximately 1800 Fahrenheit in the absence of oxygen. As the oven is heated, the coal begins to melt, so most of the volatile materials such as oil, tar, hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur are removed. The cooked coal, called coke, is removed from the oven after 18 to 24 hours of reaction time. The coke is cooled and screened into the pieces, ranging from 1 inch to 4 inches. The coke is a purious, hard black rock of concentrated carbon contains 90-93% carbon, which has some ash and sulfur, but compared to raw coal is very strong. The strong pieces of coke with a high energy value provides permeability, heat and gases, which are required to reduce and melt an iron ore. Pellets are thinner. Today natural gas is increasingly being added in the place of coke to the same degree in the blast furnace to reduce carbon emissions.
electric arc furnaces appeared in the late of 19th century. The use of electric arc furnaces has expanded and how accounts for over 70% of steel production in the United States. The electric arc furnaces is different from the blast furnace as it produces steel by using an electrical current to melt scrap steel, direct reduced iron and or pig iron to produce molten steel.